and start it again. Right. Okay. So on off button is that one there. I can tell it's on because it's got this nice blue light that likes to glow in the dark. Yeah. Right on. The screen, LED screen is uh, a sleeping along and just press any button just to light it up. It's running on gas at the moment. I want to change energy, just press the left button. So now it's running on electric. Oh, you can see a plug there, yeah. yeah. Or 12 volt system. Okay, that's when it's coming off the car. When it's coming off the back of the car, the engine's got to be running. You don't need to switch that panel on up there. So this is more or less when you're traveling. Yes. So only when you're traveling, you'll keep the cool, keep the cool, keep the fridge cool, but you yeah. won't cool it down. Okay. Okay, so you need to cool the fridge down before you travel. So if you've got it stored at home, you can obviously, if you can plug it into electric, yeah. cool the fridge before you go, say 24 hours or so before, then just before you travel, switch, switch your fridge on to uh, 12 volt. Yes. And then when your engine's running, it will uh, obviously start to keep it cool. Yes. So as long as you obviously... So you've cooled it up beforehand, it. keep yeah. it cool while you're traveling, That's it. flick it back onto electric when you get... That's it, yeah. 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 Okay, if you can see that there now, it's got a blue flashing light, yes. it's got a spanner there. That means that it hasn't detected the energy that it's, it's trying to operate on. Okay, because the car's not connected and the engine's not running. Oh, of course. That's why that's showing that. Yes. If that's operating on any other energies, especially gas, if it's on gas, that means the gas hasn't lit. Okay. Okay, so if, to light the gas, all you do is just bring it back to that icon and it will automatically light. If it fails, as I said, it will, blue light will flash and you, you'll see a spanner. Okay. Okay, if it does that, then obviously it hasn't lit. Yeah. What you do is switch it off. So press and hold that, it'll switch it off. Check the usual things, like the gas is turned on, and you have got gas, so you can obviously fire your cook up and make sure you've got gas. And then uh, after a few seconds, you can switch it back on again. Similar to your boiler, if, if you don't use it on gas very often, you can get air in the system again, so each time you switch it on and off, it's, pur it's pur trying to purge the air out and get to the gas. Okay? okay, yeah. If it's flashing on the electric, that just means the electric hasn't been connected for whatever reason, like you haven't plugged in, yeah. or that trip's been tripped down there. Okay, Okay. I, this, guess, in, I guess in reality, you'd use electric or your battery yeah, yeah. but yes okay yeah. it's going to be on site you're going to be probably using electric okay okay this side of it is your temperature range five five bars lit that's cold as your fridge is going to be so if it's coming out frozen button then obviously it's too cold oh okay okay so free lit that? okay yeah yeah, yeah. free yeah. lit all right mom so, have you got the keys to the no it's on the desk oh, on our desk yeah all right thank you very much okay just go. can you see that yeah back. obviously it goes to the screen goes to sleep after a bit yeah Okay, yeah. so right, average is obviously around about three. Yes. It all depends on the temperature outside. If it's a really hot day, then it might struggle. Yes. You might need to just up it a bit. Okay. You can tell by what's happening in the fridge normally. Yeah. You open the door, it's still not quite as cold as you expect it to be. Okay, so in, just inside here, for when you're in storage, this little tab here that hides under the handle, that's there for when it's in storage. And it holds the door open and allows air to circulate around. Yeah. Also, you always make sure you, you're cleaning, the, cleaning everything before you put it into storage, because even a li one little drop of uh, milk can end up with a big blue fl fuzz ball if you're not, if you're not careful. Yes. Which is yeah. nice to come to it after a bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there's a freezer section at the top. Yeah, there. yeah, fridge box at the top as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's also got a memory. So this has got a battery inside here as well. If I switch it off on electric, next time I come to it, switch it on, it, it'll be trying to connect to electric. Oh, okay. Okay, so it'll, it'll, it'll remember that. Well, obviously, if you're traveling with, uh, with it switched to 12 volt, obviously yes. it will. Yeah. Remember so that. is that just to press down, press the lever down? Do yeah, you, to yeah, just just pull, yeah, just pull back on it and it just okay. opens. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Right, cooker, 12 volt igniter switch there. So you don't need matches or anything like that. Okay? Yeah. Obviously, don't put the glass down when it's hot. But it has got a safety device on it. Oh, okay. Okay, if it's not lighting when you first try it, just make sure that it's fully, fully back. It, there's actually obviously a switch inside the, the mechanism there. If it's not fully back, then it may not light. Okay. Right. okay. Grill. Yeah. Okay. Grill pan handles inside it. Yeah. And your oven. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, microwave. So this. On its own. Is, that, is that a different, obviously? Is yeah, that, you've got electric. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you've yeah. got electric ring as well. Yeah, yeah. If you see that, if you're just turning that, all it's just going through is the auto menu. Okay. Yeah. So obviously, normally you want, probably want seconds to start with. All right, so if you press the power button once, yeah. that gives you 100%. If you press it again, it gives you 80, 50, whatever. So 100% normally. Yeah. So you press the power button once to get 100%, then you just turn that a few seconds. Oh, okay. Start and go. It's not just a turn that seconds go. Like, oh, like okay. Most, right. but you, 
they get a bit too overcomplicated sometimes these things. Um, also on the start button, you can 30 minute whatever. So it oh, goes up in 30, 30 seconds, and so then, yeah. then it goes up on yeah. it, then it yeah. flies up on its own. Okay. okay. Also, you just pull to open it. Do not leave the glass plate in when you're traveling, because if that drops onto here, that's smashed, that's smashed. We've only had that conversation be, this morning, haven't we? Yeah, we? Yeah. It's yeah. going to be expensive. I'll just sneak it under there. My wife tends to put it in the bowl with a tea towel so it wrap around and stop it rattling in my Oh, okay. Right. Okay. okay. And also, you make sure it's cool before you put that down, because I've seen one of these shatter and it goes off with a big bang. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Right. Obviously, yeah. you access to your underneath yeah. here. Obviously, that's where your table store is. Oh, okay. Okay, so make sure that's that's secure. If you can see there, it's got press studs to hold it. So obviously, if it wasn't when you're travelling and you put your brakes on, yes, it's got, it could cause some damage, especially to side ball there. So you got press stud either side. Look. Oh, a press stud. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's just to stop it sliding about. Yeah. Because you don't want that rattling around. It's going to cause a no. bit of damage. No, that's fine. Okay. Then obviously bathroom. Electric flush in the toilet. Normally, when you hear that noise, that means you've, your flush tank's empty. That is there to indicate if your waste tank's full. So okay. that will light up when it's full. Normally, you can see by when you open the wastegate if there's uh, what's, yes. what's staring at you anyway. Yeah. Okay. And obviously, shower. Shower's a shower. It's always best with the shower head, especially in the winter time, to take the shower head off and put the pipe down so it drains out. Oh, okay. And also, leaving all the taps empty, uh, empty, open even. Yeah. So it empties the water. Okay. If, if it's shut, it's and uh, it can still expand in with air in. If it's just that bit of water, it can expand and, and blow pipes off. Okay. Yeah. Sure, it's there. Okay. You got light switches, walls everywhere. I think that one does a bathroom yet. So bathrooms there. Okay. Light switches, individual little rocker switches on the spotlights. Right. Yeah. Okay. No individual light switches should be. Yeah. Yeah. On each one. In, in the wardrobe. Is your directional aerial for your TV, and okay. obviously, obviously amplifier as well. Have you had a? Did you have a directional on the last one or? Had the yeah. same. Is that the same as what you had? Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. So obviously, making sure it's uh, fully down before you travel. Yes. Because you don't want to collect any trees on the way home. Yeah, and okay. the amplifier, everything's connected as it should yeah. be there, isn't it, it already? Yeah. So that's it. Don't need to do anything there. No, that's it. That's all ready to go. Okay. All right. Somebody put an extra. Yeah, I think someone has. Yeah, to be honest. Okay. So, some, they don't tend to come with a lot of shelves, some of these things, and obviously people do add things themselves, but yeah, probably come in useful that one. Yeah, okay. Extra shoes, extra shoe space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm just sure yeah. I, think, I think that's everything. Just just look in the, the front drawer here. That's your... Booklet. Booklet, obviously that's got all the information you need to know. There may be a few different control panels and things like that, because obviously it does a few different ones as well. Okay. I was just thinking about the oh yeah, 115 newton meters is your alloy wheels. Okay. As I said, obviously some some are different. Some say 110, some are 115. Then the new ones are now 130, but yours is 115. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Obviously other information in there as well. So that's Excellent. All, all the individual appliances, paperwork. But that's that's your main one to read. Is that okay. Okay. Are you happy to operate this bed? Uh, we've we've never actually done it, but I'm guessing yeah. that just slides. Yeah, it just pull out slat. As you can see, it's on the bed, it's got a bit of a hump in the, what you call the knee roll. Best thing to do is turn it over so that's against the wall, because otherwise you'll end up with a bed going. Yes, like yes. If you are going to yeah. use it as a bed. Okay, and then obviously you just put the cent uh, the backrest into the centre. Okay. Yeah. And then okay. there's, there's, there's that, that can be used as a table between yeah. the two as well, can it? Yeah, so just flip that over. Right. And obviously you've got your, your other table there. Obviously that's, that's a freestanding table which you could use. In the awning, if you wanted to, or yes, or yes, or, or do you like that sticking in? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, it's still usable outside. Okay. With your lights, you have got a dimmer on the two front ones. Can you see that there? Oh, okay. Yeah. So if you look at anything, oh, what's that not working? There's a switch there for it. Okay. I've got a feeling they may be, maybe two forty. Then ones. If I just, I'll just switch the twelve volt system off. Yeah. So that twelve volts off now. So them two there are actually enough two forty. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Happy with that? Yeah, I think Good. so. Yeah. I think right. so. So what we got here now is the handover sheet. Give me a penny. Um, this, this is just on um, 
I, obviously I've explained stuff, obviously there's certain things you may know anyway. So what I want you to do is tick through these now, so you're happy that I've explained it or you know it. Yeah. Okay. There may be certain things that may just prompt you for a question. Yes. So that's, that's another good thing about this. What we've got here is, I need you to sign that bit there, which is to do with the wheel nuts, obviously Obviously, it's your responsibility. Once you leave here, I will check them before you leave. Yes. It's your responsibility. Once you obviously get it up, up and running on the road, so obviously it's up to you to make sure you're checking it regularly. Yeah. Tick through all that. Tick through all them. If you can read, print and sign there. Next page. If I can get there. Issue page. If there's something you're not happy with, it's not clean or it uh, doesn't work or whatever, you can write down there. Okay. Obviously, this is just on the handover. Um, if there's no issues, you're happy, you can write no issues on handover. Then you can print and sign there. Next page. Oh, there you go. Was he taking it out? No, no. Blank page. Then we got. Um, so if Jack mentioned it or not, we we now book you in for a, a snagging date. Oh, okay. Appointment. Okay. So roughly about thirty days from now. Obviously, appointment to suit yourselves. Um, all depending on if you've obviously used your van in that time. So what happens is, service will ring you around about two weeks before. Say, so, have you any issues? Are everything okay? If everything's okay, you, obviously you, could, you can cancel that if you wanted to. Okay. If there is any issues, service will make a note of it, and then you bring it in on that date which you've booked, and then the, the issues will be sorted. Okay. But right. well, we okay. need to come down in a couple of weeks for the awning, because the awning's not coming yet, apparently. Right. Okay. So that, that'll work in okay. Yeah. yeah. If that's... Yeah. Uh... So that's only if you need to, obviously. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right, so if you want to tick through that now, yeah. there may be some things that may not apply. Chris, are you happy what Chris means? 